This is Royal Spark 125. Back for yet another great reaction. Yes. I've been away for a long time. I'm sorry. I've just um, had some injuries there. I had like a very sore thigh. I couldn't sit up straight. And then on Tuesday, I fell down on my right knee in the driveway, which really, really hurt. Uh, my knee is swollen and sore and bruised right now. Uh, but I can sit up straight now that my thigh is feeling a lot better. Uh, oh, as you can see, I've got like my little, like mini poster things up there. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? Some of my favorite movies. Uh, throughout the years. Just some. Just a few, you know? I don't really have much room for anything else. Uh, maybe I'll just get a couple of smaller ones in there. Uh... If I another few, or another couple of small ones on this side here. To go with Terminator and Die Hard, you know. But the thing, I can't keep using the wrong hot. The thing, oh, where is it? The thing on here is the only one that's stuck on with a magnet, or a display magnet. I wanted to get display magnets for all of them, but they're, they're pretty dear. They're like, like nine pounds each or eight pounds each or something, just for the magnet alone. Then you have to buy the metal plate to stick to it because these are cheap, uh, cheap posters. They're not, not, not dear ones, you know, like you get from disc plate and all that. They're they're very dear. I got a, some cheap ones. They're just as good, I think. You know, just movie posters. I know they have like unique designs and stuff, but I said to go with them because I am a movie person deep down. You know. Uh, I love movies, always have. In fact, you know, I started my second channel to do rewatches of movies. I haven't seen in years, but it didn't work out that way. Everyone just wants to watch uh, first time reactions, you know. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, sorry, I'm getting off topic here. Uh, Ten scary videos that are nightmare fuel by Duke's Top Five. Of course, it's ten videos, not five, but you know. Somebody or people voted for this one, so here it is. Yeah, I've done a scary one in a while. It's nice to get back to it because I started with Nukes Top 5, you know. And I've got a lot of natural light coming in this side. I don't usually use natural light because I usually record at night time. So I thought, it's daytime, I'll use some daylight, you know. I hope you like the posters. And uh, let me know in the comments section if you want to see more of them. Maybe get a couple more for up here. And a couple more for up here. And we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, uh, let's jump in. This next Nuke Stop 5 exclusive video was sent in by viewer Michael Youngblood. The video was shot near Winchester, Virginia, a city that was the site of some of the bloodiest battles of the U.S. Civil War. Michael is filming his friend Jake when they capture something that they just did not expect. Let me get you from the front. Okay. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. yeah. You recording? Yep. Oh, now my socks are like wet because of the ground. You. Oh, that Look was pretty that. good. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Did you see it? When looking back at the video, Michael and Jake are shocked oh, to see man. what looks like a mysterious figure oh. dressed like a Civil War soldier and carrying that. a long, old-timey musket. The creepy apparition silently walks across the field right behind them. Yeah, but Michael and Jake so say that weird. they didn't see anyone at the time. So could this be the spirit of a fallen Civil War soldier? Let me know what you think. Okay. Here we go. You guys, if you've seen my scary stuff before, you know I know this stuff can be hoaxes. I don't necessarily believe in ghosts and stuff. I don't really believe in that stuff. But I have to admit, that is pretty creepy. You're right, you're right in, the, in the dark, filming somebody doing flips in a Civil War memorial thing or whatever. And you see that in your video? After the fact? After you come home? After you, you think, oh god, what the hell was that? And it actually did look like a soldier, too, you know, like, like, Civil War soldier with a musket and stuff. Now, I'll say this, could it be fake? Yeah, of course it could. Anything could be fake nowadays. But this is entertainment, 
and I'm gonna I'm just gonna react the way it looks and that that looked really really that looked really really creepy I would freak out see see tell you what see if I was out there I wouldn't be out there in the first place yeah I would be out there in the first place and this is why this is the reason why I put myself in that position no no sure a lot of you feel the same way <laughs> but no no this this is why we watch this stuff let them take all the danger yeah we'll just watch them no, i'm i'm I, I would freak out though I, I would, i'd never leave the house again that's it i'm done i <laughs> never 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 shadows of doubt it's a normal Friday afternoon in Opelousas, Louisiana, and Dante Saunier stops at a service station to get some gas. Suddenly, he notices something very strange inside a parked and empty school bus across the street. New bus. You about to go walk up to this bus? Oh, what the hell? Look at that, look at the children playing. I don't know what's happening. Look, look at that. How do they know it's empty, though? Let's go see. Let's go investigate. Yeah, yeah, go and investigate. I wouldn't investigate, but... An empty bus. You, you go and investigate. Who are those people getting off the bus? Yeah, out the back? An empty bus. Who were they were getting off the bus, out the back of the bus? The kids broke Strange, in creepy shadows of children can be seen walking through the school bus, even though the vehicle is parked and completely empty. Dante says that he walked over to the bus and even drove his truck around it, but saw no one and nothing to explain the bizarre apparitions. Okay. Dante was creeped out by the entire experience and posted his video to Facebook, where it quickly got... Okay, yes, that is creepy. If it's just like shadow people or whatever, yeah, yeah. But there's sunlight streaming in through the windows, right? And those shadows, I don't know where they could be coming from, but they could be coming from another building or, or, or something like that. I, I can't explain it. But they don't look like shadows that are in the bus, if you know what I mean. The shadows are there, but it looks like the shadows are being created by, by something else far away. If you know what I mean? It, ugh, Hard to explain, but uh, I don't know. I can't explain it. I can't. I can't explain it. Creepy as hell, though. They always are. Let's face it. And uh, it's just, just don't bother with it. Just ignore it. Just like, oh, I, I, I didn't see anything. No, no, I didn't. See, I don't need to investigate. I don't need to know. I don't need to know the answer to this, to this question. Nope. Dante was creeped out by the entire experience and posted his video to Facebook, where it quickly got over 2 million views. As of today, the mystery of the school bus shadows remains unexplained. The Midnight Whisper Red Ezer Mike is up around midnight after his family have all went to bed. He suddenly smells a strange odor coming from the living room, and he suspects that one of the family pets might have urinated on the floor. But as Mike begins searching for the telltale puddle, something scares the absolute <laughs> out of him. Hey, Where's my pee? Okay, I, I just want to say one thing. If if I think my my dog has peed on the floor, the last thing I'm doing is, is walking around barefoot. Yeah, I'm putting my slippers on or my shoes or something. I'm I'm not walking around. maybe that's how he's gonna find it. Maybe Oh, I find it. There's something wet under my foot. There we go. Find it, find the pee. That that that's bad. yeah, that'd be one way to find it, I suppose. I mean I wouldn't find it that way if <laughs> no, if if I think one of my animals peed and I don't wear I'm not walking around in my bare feet. Because you're just asking to step in it. Yeah, at that point, you're just asking, get your feet wet, so to speak. Loot out of him. Hey, where's my pee? Mm -hmm. How 
What's that? Oh, it's like, what the hell? A small childlike voice seems to whisper, Mike, from somewhere nearby. Mike just books it up the stairs, leaving his dog and his concerned little kitten in the background to wonder what the hell just happened. <laughs> Classic. Now, Mike says that he that? lived in an old 1850s house near the coast of Herring Cove, Canada. It has a slight bit of dark history, but he says that he's never experienced anything remotely paranormal before this night. In fact, Mike has never even made a single post about anything supernatural until this strange incident that literally sent him running. Okay, he obviously has kids, right? It's a kid's voice. Could it be possibly one of his kids? Maybe. I don't know. But it didn't sound natural. You know, it didn't sound like... It didn't sound like a natural kid's voice. It just it sounded like it was, uh... I don't know. It's placed or something? Or... Oh, sound my nose is itchy as hell. I'm not picking my nose. I'm just rubbing the side of it because it's itchy. God. Okay, uh, could, okay, he has cameras, right, are these like, like one of these internet cameras? Somebody could have hacked into it or something. That cat, though, that cat looks suspicious. The cat looks suspicious, like, ha, ah, I got him. You know? And the dog? The dog's like, oh, crap, what have I done now? Better get out of here. Better get out of here before he blames me on something else. The thing in the tunnel. Nuke's top five viewer Sophie reached out to us about a very creepy video that her friend Laura recorded in an abandoned railway tunnel in Hassel, Germany. The Why? tunnel was built in 1890 and it was used extensively by German troops during World War II. So, while on a weekend trip, Laura checks out the historic old abandoned rail tunnel. She's recording with her phone when she captures what is maybe one of the weirdest clips I've ever seen. Check it out. Something pale and thin can be seen rising oh. up from the tracks in front of Laura on nope. what looks like a thin little arm. Nope. As for Laura, she gets one look at the disturbing thing and just turns and makes a run for it. Yes. Now, watching this clip over and over, I honestly have no idea what this is. Oh. It looks like maybe a hairless torso with two skinny arms. Uh, getting up in a very unnatural way. Maybe it's an animal, maybe it's a very weird looking person. I what kind of just animal looks don't like know. That? So you tell me what you think this is down in the comments. Yeah, I know I said this when, when the clip started. Why? Why? Why are you going to this tunnel? Why? I know, okay, people like to explore. I could never be that inquisitive. It's just a way, you know. Oh, here's a creepy dark tunnel that has been used in decades. Let's go have a look. Oh, what is this, a Scooby-Doo episode or something? But, uh, and she's there by herself. That's the worst part, yeah? The worst part is she, she decided to go alone. I mean, maybe she doesn't have any friends that are there time you know but that's just yet another reason not to go as far as I'm concerned but uh yeah uh, well she went she went there to see something and uh saw something something's probably gonna haunt her for the rest of her life but no 
Well, it could be an animal. Maybe an animal gets stuck or something, and it's like rear legs are trying to get up. It's something like that there, maybe. Let, let's hope that's what it is. Because I, I don't want to think what it could be. No. No. It could be like, like a deer or something trapped in a hole. Something like that there. Possible. It's possible. It's heard her coming. It's trying to escape, sort of thing. Now it doesn't know what's there. Let's hope. Let, let's just assume it's a deer, right? Okay. Let, let's go with that. Ah. Yeah. What do you think in the comment section? Do you think it's a deer? Do you think it's some kind of animal? Or what? Yikes. You see that in a tunnel? You, you're in a dark tunnel and you see that? Yeah, you, you become... You become the flash at that moment, yeah? You pick a sign barrier. There's no way you're sticking around for that crap. No. Evil Alexa. Now this next video is about the dangers of accidentally scaring yourself. Eight-year-old Jackson and two of his friends are having a sleepover at his home in Grapevine, Texas. The three fearless young boys decide to ask the family's Amazon Alexa to tell them a scary bedtime story. It was oh, then trouble. that they realized they had made a huge mistake. I don't know that. Alexa. Alexa, Alexa tell me a bedtime story. Sorry, I don't know that. Oh, Alexa, 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 tell me a bedtime story. Alexa, tell me a bedtime story. Alexa begins telling a scary story starting with Did you hear that? The eight year old boys lose their damn minds and just begin to <laughs> scream and yell for Alexa to stop. Thankfully, Jackson's mother comes to the rescue. But she seems pretty unimpressed by their reaction. <laughs> What's your scary at all. I think the lesson here is always be careful about letting your kids watch or listen to scary con yeah. content. I mean, uh, enjoy the video. That's what I was going <laughs> to say there. Thank you. I don't really use Alexa that often. Maybe like for like the time and date and stuff. That's about it. I'm not an Alexa person, I just don't trust AI that much. <laughs> but be careful what you ask for, yeah? Because you just might get it. There it is. Uh, yeah, that's just a little bit of a funny one for kids, you know? I like his reaction to, you shouldn't let your kids watch scary content. You know, that was, yeah. Be careful what to say, too. Hmm? Yeah. Unholy Night. Mariana Ramos says that her father was attending Christmas Mass at his local church when he decided to send her a quick video of the service. When Mariana watches the video, she sees something that gives her the chills. A pale person with no distinct features and deep that? hollow eyes can be seen amongst the celebrating churchgoers. What goers. the hell is that? Mariana asks her father about the mysterious figure and he too is disturbed and confused because he says he didn't see this person when he recorded the video. He asks other church members, but no one recognizes the odd stranger in the footage. But here's where things get really weird, because Mariana claims that there was one person who did recognize this figure, the church's old priest. 
The priest said that the person in the video was an old woman who used to work closely with the church. A woman who had died many oh. years earlier. So, is this the woman's ghost showing up to church for Christmas Mass? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. So, the priest recognized her. He recognized her. So, 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 so she looked like that when she was alive. Really? Uh, okay. Okay. I'm, I'm confused. Maybe she has some type of condition. Maybe she got burned or something. Or, I don't know. Maybe something wrong with her. <laughs> he recognized. He took one look at her. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know her. I know her. Yeah. I recognize her. Huh? She looked like that? In life? Really? Crap. Window to the other side. TikTok user Alyssa is outside with her two children one night when the family spots something strange in the second floor bedroom window. All right, my daughter's room is up there and we keep seeing some... All right, put your flashlight up. Okay, wait, we're gonna look down for a minute, but put your flashlight down. Let's see if we can get it to go again. Alright, flash what? it up there. Oh, now it's gone. Put your flashlight down. Flash it again. <laughs> put it down, put your flashlight down. Let's see if it'll do it again. Alright, put it up. Hurry. Oh. Someone or something can be seen peeking through the blinds of Alyssa's daughter's bedroom. But when they shine their flashlight, whatever it is simply disappears out of sight. Creepily enough, no one can be seen standing behind the blinds, and no hand can be seen moving them. Now, Alyssa believes that her house is haunted by a friendly ghost or poltergeist that means her family no harm. So instead of being alarmed, Alyssa and her children just rush right into the house and quickly head up to check out the window. All right, let's see if it'll do it one more time, baby. Put your flashlight up. I'm, I'm right, going yeah, to hope Let's go inside. Let's go inside. All right. I, I just don't believe. All right. Here's the upstairs. I just want to show you guys. I explain how they're doing it, but... Uh... No one behind the door. Here's my daughter's room. It's a little messy, I'm sorry, but just to show you, here's the closet. I just want to show you there's nobody behind. Nobody in the closet. Here's the window right over here. Nobody, not a single person up here. The family finds nothing and no one there. Now it is interesting to note that shortly after posting this video to TikTok, Alyssa closed her account and seemed to just kind of disappear from the internet. So that is a bit of a mystery. It kind of makes you wonder if that ghost was friendly after all. I don't know, there's something suspicious about that one. Uh, you see something like that and you're not scared? You're not even apprehensive? You're actually excited and you're running into it? No, oh, that's just, I don't know. And it's happening too often, you know, it's like, it's happening way too often. It's just doing the same thing over and over and over again. It's just, no, it just doesn't seem right. I think it's a hoax. I, that's just me, personally. If you think it's true, then that's fine, but... I'm gonna call a hoax on that one. That's... <sighs> it's just something about it just doesn't feel right, you know? Walking Among Us. Canadian Paranormal Investigation Team Walking Among Us reached out to us about a terrifying experience one of their investigators had at the historic SDG jail in Cornwall, Ontario, Canada. The SDG jail was built in 1833, and over its 190 year history, many people have lost their life here. Some by hanging, 
some from illness, and some from horrible violence. Perhaps even more disturbing, many unclaimed bodies were buried right on the property. With a dark history like that, it's no wonder that the SDG jail is said to be extremely haunted. On an overnight investigation, walking among us team member Krista is all alone in a known paranormal hotspot on the lower levels of the jail. She has a chilling experience that the investigators just can't explain. My name is Krista. Can you please tell me your name? Krista is freaked out when she hears shuffling footsteps in the hallway near her, and then hears a voice that she thinks is fellow investigator Rafe. But there's just one problem. At the time, Rafe is in a completely different part of the building, filming with the other team investigators. I'm going to do the report. Nothing ever happens to me. I'm fine. Yeah, but maybe it will. Okay, fine. I'll sit there. Sit for like 20 seconds. Okay, See if fine, you hear fine. anything. I'm the same way, so I tend to just be behind the camera. Which is more fun. It is. It is. Krista is all alone while team members Rafe, Kelly, and James are doing a separate investigation in another part of the jail. In fact, when Krista calls out, the other team member's camera captures them in real time running over to check on Krista. Is anyone coming around the corner? Yeah, I'm What? Rafe? Coming. Ray? Are you okay? That's not funny. What happened? No one's there. Don't play with me right now. He just ran. No, we're not in the hallway. Yeah, we were in the hallway. So we were in the room doing the ball thing. He went out there. I'm here. 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 I'm Hello, is that you? And it sounded like you going, get out of here! No, that was, no, that was he was with us. Oh, I hope that's on there. I was sleeping. Can you take the footage? And you swear to God, I was sleeping with us. I said, no, I'm not crazy. And you, okay, well, hold on. It's all on video. Okay, well, hold on. It's all on video of us. How far That's true. Us. After rewatching the footage, the investigators believe that a spirit might have mimicked Rafe's voice. You can watch this entire investigation at the SDG jail over on the YouTube channel walking among us okay i'm gonna say this they went there they went there looking for something looking to experience something capture things and they got what they wanted there you go there you go it's, it's done something tells me they're not sad about it that's literally why they're there uh yeah, that's creepy. Can I explain it? No. No. And whether it's real or fake, that's, that's up to the, the person watching, you know? I don't believe in ghosty stuff personally, but I'll say this. That is creepy. It is. The whole, <laughs> the whole place is creepy, you know? And, and putting yourself in a dark room like that, alone, while you're, you're other people at the other side of the building, There you go. You asked for it. You got it. The end. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got what they wanted. You got what they wanted. <laughs> would you do this? Would you Would you go to one of these creepy places and, and put yourself out there like that? I, I don't know if I could. You know what I mean? There is a certain amount of bravery involved in this, yeah? To put yourself in a place like that and 
don't know. I, mean, I just don't know why people would do it. Just curiosity, but the unknown, I suppose. I just would, personally. It's just not my thing. I want to watch other people do that. Yeah, from the safety of my bedroom. There you go. Who waits in the woods? So this is Noah. Noah is not a YouTuber. He's not a TikToker. In fact, he's not a quote influencer of any kind. Noah is just a guy who posted one single video to the internet about something that happened to him that scared the living shit out of him. <laughs> you see, Noah was driving late one night in the deep isolated woods of Sun River, Oregon. He That's was getting a bit mistake. sleepy, so he decided to pull off onto a desolate country road in the woods to take a nap Second in the back mistake. of his truck. As you can probably guess, it did not go well. So I was originally not going to make this video, but a few days ago I was camping in Sun River and what I thought would be a good location to pull over to the side of the road in like this forest area and sleep, which I thought no one was really around. I'm currently sleeping in the back of my truck right now. Well, that's I don't even know what time it is. And there's someone walking around my truck right now. If you can hear that, it's pretty loud. Um, he's been walking around for like 20 minutes already. Um, my c**t's on my cab though. Um, I don't really know what to do. I'm a little freaked out right now. And it's like pitch black outside. Probably like 2 in the morning. And he just keeps walking around. And... He's like really close to my truck. I've never been this scared. And like, this doesn't make any sense because I parked somewhere where you couldn't see. No one was on that road. He's literally, he's literally walking. He's literally walking on my truck. The canopy, the back door is locked. I can never been scared before ever. I don't think he knows that. I'm so scared right now. He's literally peeking through the door right now. I've never been this scared ever. <laughs> so, the current time is 2.30 in the morning right now. He's still walking up around my truck. I'm gonna try to see if I can flash my light to get him scared. Eventually, whoever this person was wandered off and left Noah in peace. But the next morning, when Noah cautiously gets out of his truck, there's some creepy evidence left behind. So I'm back home. This is the day after. Um, he was trying to peek in my truck uh, quite a bit with all these marks. I didn't even notice until I got home. Um, handprints there, a lot of scratches, stuff like that. Um, uh, dragging his finger on my side of my truck. Uh, well, it looks like to be trying to get inside my truck. Um, that's really all I could tell from when he was walking around. That's new. I uh, don't know how that got there. More handprints trying to get in my truck. Um, at least the back canopy was locked, but um, yeah, that was the result. So, that was probably the scariest camping experience I've probably ever had in my entire life. Um. <clears throat> now, the strangest thing about this entire incident is that Noah was parked off the road, in the woods, in the middle of nowhere, in yeah. the middle of the night. And whoever this person was outside had no flashlight and never spoke a single word while skulking around Noah's truck all night long. So, just who was this, and what did he want? Maybe Noah is lucky that he never found out. That's one of the scariest things ever. Scarier than any ghost, yeah? People. People. 
Especially when you're in a in a secluded place, like uh, dark, dark place, and all that. And you just and you're sleeping, and somebody's walking around your your vehicle and banging on it, trying to get in and trying to look in the back where you are. Yeah, that's people are way scarier than than any ghost. There it is. Guy is lucky. Guy is lucky. He got out alive. Many people haven't been that lucky in the past, and uh, I don't know what else to say to be honest. Other than the fact he needs to, to wash his car, then maybe that's what saved him. You know, <laughs> maybe his car was so really the guy the guy couldn't see in the window that well. You know, so I don't know. He is just a lucky guy. You know, I, I've done that myself a few times, like stopped off the road, but I've always stopped it off on a busy road, even late at night, you know. It's still, it's still cars passing by. And that way, see, the worst thing about going to somewhere it's dark and secluded, nobody's there to help you, right? It makes it easier for people to do this. Because if you're doing it on, on, a, on a main road, with those cars passing all the time, it makes it harder for people to, to mess with you like this. Because people are going to see them. Yeah? People are going to see them doing this. And so his, his mistake was not doing it on a busy road. Because he thought, I'll, I'll stop off this, this secluded road here where there's nobody about. That's the worst thing you could do. Honestly, that's the worst thing you could do because it makes it easier for people like them to find you and mess with you. You know, you're better when there's other people around to see you and see whoever's doing that. Park somewhere where there's cameras so they can catch stuff like that. Or maybe not if it's illegal. <laughs> if it's illegal for you to park and sleep, you know. But uh, you want you want people to see what's happening, you want them to, to witnesses and stuff. Be careful. That's all I'm saying. Just just be really, really careful out there. Get some real real little creeps and weirdos. Yeah. Careful people. Done up myself. You you feeling tired, you stop off. I uh, maybe go for 10, 15 minutes, just nod off for, for 10, 15 minutes, set my timer, twenty minutes sleep. Just so, you know, I can get something so I can get home, sort of thing. And that is the scariest thing. The idea that somebody can stop off and start trying to get into your car, knocking on your window, you know what I mean? But it could have been someone just making sure that nobody needed, somebody didn't need help, but I seriously doubt it. The way he was acting and stuff, you know, walking around all the time, knocking on the windows, trying to look in, trying to get into the in the car and stuff. It's all suspicious as hell, you know? And if it was someone looking to help, why would... Hello? Hello? Do you need help? Hello? Is anybody there? Not a word. Not a word. Yeah? This person did not mean him well. I'll put it that way. Yeah? Yikes. That's probably the scariest video I've seen in a long, long time. And it had nothing to do with ghosts, as far as we know. Yeah? Hider in the house. Mamo and Patty, a couple who explore haunted places in Mexico, are worried that a vengeful female spirit followed them home from one of their investigations. The couple says that they now experience frequent paranormal activity in their home that terrifies both them and their children. A few months ago, we featured Memo and Patty's story as they began broadcasting their experiences live on YouTube in an attempt to prove that their paranormal encounters are real. <laughs> Oh, 
One night, they were woken up by weird sounds coming from outside their bedroom door. When this happened. Te despojo. Richard, sí, despojo. La ventana. ¿En esa? Sí, no puede. Es imposible que haya alguien ahí parado. Y les voy a demostrar por qué. No, miren, ahí está la ventana, ¿sale? Jálale aquí, hija. Chequense. That's good. ¿A dónde está la ventana? Oh, that's the one. Yeah, I have seen this one. Since that, that night, the terrifying activity inside Memo and Patty's home has only intensified, and the couple continues to live stream their experiences right on YouTube. Another night, and the family is already live streaming as they arrive home. They are answering some questions from their curious live viewers when something happens that is truly bizarre. <laughs> Saludos, Gina TikToks. Vamos a darle con Tokio. Vamos a darle muy bien esta noche a la platicada. Did you see it? As the family is getting out of the car, Memo randomly pans his phone's camera past the house's window for yeah. just a second. But in that brief in moment, there? a bizarre dark silhouette can uh -huh. be seen standing in their living yep. room, even All though that. the house should be completely empty. Memo and his family have no idea what they just caught on camera until viewers watching their live stream start to alert them. Now Memo tries to debunk the strange apparition, hoping that it was nothing more than a reflection, but he can find no explanation for who or what this could be. And things only get worse from here. Another night. And Memo starts to broadcast a live stream to YouTube to show the weird prints that he found on his car that was parked in their garage all day. Suddenly, he hears loud banging coming from a storage room inside the house. He hurries inside and what happens next is truly disturbing. Who is there? Hell? Ah! Hola. ¿Quién está ahí? You expect something to jump out. Hola. Uy, creo que se metió. Ey, 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 ey. No. Creo que no, se metió no, no, el animal. No, no, no. Is it moving towards him? What the fuck? Hola. Show us what's underneath it. Show us what's underneath it. No mames. No mames. The children's playhouse suddenly moves by itself and just slides Burn right it. across the floor. Burn it. Right Memo on. fears that an animal has gotten into the playhouse. He frantically checks inside and out. There's nothing there. But, again, did you see it? Kill Something that looks like a very tall figure with a shadowy oh, face can be I seen peeking out at Memo just... from behind a shelf. Again, Memo doesn't see like it a... and is completely unaware of what just happened. Until his live stream audience points him out, myself, telling him creepy, to go look just like behind that thing, shelf. Aquí? ¿Cómo creen? Si aquí no hay nada. Está hasta la caja. Vean. Es ropa vacía. So just who or what is this? Could it be the spirit that Memo and Patty claim haunt their home? Or is this something entirely different? It's up to you. You decide. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit subscribe and turn on notifications. I know what happened to my car. You can also say, uh, hi, Nuke, over on social media. Okay, that is the end of the video. What I was gonna say there was that's creepy. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs>
I don't know. I don't know if that's scarier than than the second one. I thought the second one was way scarier than that. Obviously, if you're living with something that is terrifying, yeah. If that's real and you're living with that, that is absolutely terrifying, yeah. But I honestly, like watching it, I honestly think the second one was scarier. Because it was a real person, you know, involved there and... Obviously, like I said, if you if if ghosts are real, I don't know if they are or not. But if they are, and you're living with something like that, that's terrifying. Yes, but if you're watching it, the second one to me was a lot scarier than than the first one. Number two was scarier than number one. Put it that way. Crap. Okay. <laughs> uh, my knees kind of acting up. I'm getting kind of. Getting a lot of pain from it at the moment. I want to sit forward and, and some of the stuff it. But uh, that was that was a good video. I enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Uh, if you want to watch the original video, go go to Nuke's Top Five. I'll leave a link to it to this video and to the channel in the description down below. Yes, yes. And if you haven't checked out my second channel, which is Ross Button. Take two. If I do movie reactions and some anime, check it out. You know, you might like it. I don't know. And until next time, I am out of here.